In this video, we're going to try to understand the microscopic statistical basis for absolute values of entropy. So to do that, let's imagine we have a set of n particles in a distinguishable degenerate states. So for example, we have one particle and we have one state available. There's only one way to arrange that system. It's to put the particle in the state. If we have one particle which is available in uh, two, has two degenerate states available to it, we can either put it in the left state or we can put it in the right state. And if we have three states and we want to put two particles in there, and let's also say that we can only put one particle in each state just for simplicity, we can put it in those two, we can put them in those two or we can put them in those two. And the last example I'll do if we have two particles and there are four available states to put them into, again, I'll say that we can't put them both in the same state, then there are going to be six ways to arrange that where we have particles in different states. Let's say that the particles are, uh, the particles are going to be indistinguishable. Okay, so we had one way to arrange that in the first case, two ways to arrange it in the second, three in the third, and in our fourth case there were six distinct ways to enter, to arrange those particles among these degenerate states. Degenerate meaning that they have the same energy. Okay, so the number of ways of arranging particles in different degenerate ways, which I'm going to call W, it's going to equal, it's going to be our number of particles, number of particles, choose number of states, A. So this, is, this would be uh, N choose A. If you're not familiar with this type of notation, then this would be n factorial over <clears throat> a factorial times n minus a factorial. So that's what you mean when you see n choose a here, n factorial over a factorial times n minus a factorial. And if you plug in those numbers for 1, 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, and 2, 4, you'll see that you'll get W in each of these cases. And this W here, we're going to call it the degeneracy factor, or you could say the degeneracy of the system. So if we, have, if we know what W is, we know our degeneracy factor for the system, what is the entropy for this system? The entropy, not, and this is absolute entropy, is going to be the Boltzmann constant times the natural log of the degeneracy. And this is the formula for statistical entropy of degenerate states. And this is uh, pretty much a fundamental uh, relationship in statistical mechanics and also thermodynamics. So let's see uh, what this does when we have the, the fact that this is a log W here. Well, we, sh we had in a previous video where we wanted the entropy of a combination of two systems. So let's see what we get when we combine two systems. Like let's say if we combine this system and this system. So the entropy of this system would be KB log 3 because we have three, uh, degenerate, we have three degenerate states there. So it would be KB times log 3. Here it would be 6, we have KB log 6. But what if we had a, some composite system combined of both of these systems? So W of this combined state, let's say 1, 2, is just the product of those two. Going to be W1 times W2. That would be, if you, if you could randomly choose... Uh, two particles in one of these spaces and two particles in one of these uh, states simultaneously. That would be a product of these two degeneracy factors. 
So what entropy do we get when we have this composite degeneracy factor? So that's going to be KB log W12, which is equal to KB log W1 times W2. And you know when you have a product inside of a logarithm, you can separate it out into a sum of logarithms. So KB log 1 plus KB log 2. And that gives us our final result, S12. This here would be the entropy of 1. This here would be the entropy of 2, according to that formula. So the fact that this uh, degeneracy factor is multiplicative means that the entropy is additive. So the entropy of a composite system with two particles in here and two particles in there would just be the sum of the entropy of those two systems. So that would be just KB log 3 plus KB log 6. Okay, so we get that entropy is additive. So this all depends on the fact that the probability of the system choosing any one of these states is equally likely. And this is one of the fundamental underpinnings in statistical mechanics. And you might hear this term brought up called the ergodic principle or the ergodic hypothesis. So what does this mean? So the ergodic hypothesis is often called the fundamental assumption of statistical mechanics. And it says that all degenerate states are equally likely. So all states with the same energy are equally likely to be explored by the system as, as a state. So if this, if this energy, if this state and this state have the same energy, then the system is equally likely to be in either one of those states. And this uh, is this along with conservation of energy, if you have conservation of energy and you assume the ergodic hypothesis, all other conclusions of statistical mechanics uh, can be can be drawn up from there. So that's kind of like the second that's the second law of thermodynamics from the perspective of statistical mechanics would be the ergodic hypothesis.